Now that our bellies are full, I it's know. time to make some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Here to show us how to create a unique one-of-a-kind jacket is our very unique one-of-a-kind Orly Shanny. Yeah, hey Orly. Thank you, my dear. I will say one-of-a-kind and one size fits all because you've got quite an audience. That's here. right. You're going to be busy. Play. I'll be here till midnight <laughs> <laughs> taking pre-orders. Thank you. Um, yeah, this is really fun. So I actually got this idea from Kate, our wardrobe stylist. She sent me this awesome jacket by Zadig and Voltaire. There it is. Really cool. It's like a. It looked like a sequin skull army jacket. So cool. About five hundred dollars. Yeah. Out of my price <laughs> range, but <laughs> really, really cool and yeah. obviously beautifully made. It's a very popular brand. So I thought there was probably a way that we could do it. We've I've seen this um, glitter spray paint by Krylon here in the garage. We've got it. We use it yeah. for various projects. So I thought, all right. Now the next thing is, how do I create the skull? So what I decided to do was use the Google machine and search skull graphic. And I came out with this image. It was a skull graphic. And what I did is I cut it out and turned it into a stencil. So I'm going to show you how to do it with any image that you find. So what you're going to so do. So basically made your own stencil. I made my own stencil with just like a free image that was online. Okay. Can I throw a wrench at you? Totally. Because um, we always love to learn from failures, yeah. right? Did you have anything go wrong? I did. Okay. <laughs> I did. Thanks, <laughs> Thank you. I, I never, ever, that was totally that never happens to me, by the way, ever. <laughs> so this is a shock. No, because you always go, like, I really learned. Yeah, okay. I did. All right, so so sure first things care. first, I um, I downloaded these, and then I sent them to FedEx Kinko's, and I said, I want it on your biggest cardstock. That happens to be 11 by 17. So they printed the image on 11 by 17. Just do black and white, because it doesn't matter. You're not mm -hmm. using the image, and it's 43 cents for a black and white. 11 That's by 17 nice. for this. Perfect, okay. Next, I got one of them laminated, thinking I probably really need it laminated in order to make this strong enough, and that was $4. Turns out I couldn't really cut through it, and it wasn't even really necessary. Uh, mm. I used this. So just skip the lamination process and use this. Is that your failure? That was one of my failures. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, if you could stop with the question. <laughs> okay, don't worry, I'll take it from here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Next up, you, you want to decide which part of the image you want to show. So if you want the black part to be the transfer, then that's what you're cutting out of the picture. Okay. Now, this was the other confusing, that what originally confused me, and once I got it, I'm like, oh, that's easy. Okay, what you need to make sure is that it is one, the white part is one continuous piece. So what I did first is I cut this out. But I what, what I ended up there. with One was just a giant hole. Piece. Yeah. I oh see my what God. you did there. He's even just, I'm, I, I'm getting that accidentally from, from you. you. I didn't I even realize I did it. I know. Your puns you are. You should see a doctor <laughs> yeah. quickly, quickly. So I don't know if you can see right there. I put a little piece of tape. This is my pathway from the outside to the inside. That means that as I cut, I'm going to cut down here and around. That way, it's one continuous. Yes. Graphic. Otherwise, all of these things, it would have just been an empty circle. Right. So when you're doing it, just make sure that you keep your white continuous. There is no break in your white. And if you have to create a little pathway for yourself, you can. Just do it. Like this is a stencil, a pumpkin stencil, and you can see how the white's all connected because it's meant for that. See, there's no break. I see. Yeah. Interesting. Right. So you just want to create oh. that for yourself. So you, what you're spraying is actually what's the black area. Yes. Is that right? Okay. And in okay, order no, to have no, that, no. you need to create those pathways for yourself Perfect. if it doesn't Got exist. It. On this, it doesn't matter because the white's continuous. Correct. Mm -hmm. So next, you're going to take an X-Acto knife, and you're just going to cut. I've done most of it, but you're just going to cut all along here. Do you guys mm -hmm. DIY at all? Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. A lot. It's super fun. It's yeah. fun, right? Yeah. It's, just, it's a way of making everything custom and kind of taking ownership, which is really cool. <clears throat> so look, now we pull that out. Okay. And here is our stencil. That's hey. so. So that's it. That's great. Yeah. Now, normally a stencil would be thicker. So a great way to make this really adhe ad adhese. Adhese. That's is that a word. That was your second mistake. Your second mistake. <laughs> English is my. <laughs> Third language. Um, okay, so this stuff is really great. It's called repositionable adhesive spray. It'll allow you to spray the back of it, put it on, pick it up, put it on. It won't transfer residue as long as you wait about 10 minutes and kind of let it get tacky. Don't spray it and put it on. Mm. Yeah. Spray it. So I've done that to this one, right? Now this one's on. Mm -hmm. See, okay. so all these little things are in there. Now, girls, can you, what color do you think would look cool with this? Uh, this one's super cool. Yeah, that's yeah like, like gunmetal. Like gun okay. yeah. So great, so Ooh, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of block off this space because you don't want too much overspray to happen anywhere else. And you wanna do this in a place that's not super windy. If it is windy, you're gonna wanna use tape. Kind of additionally. Probably outside, too. Do it by and dad's car. Outside. Dad okay. will love it if you go now, right if you guys, I want you guys to back wind. up just a little yeah. so I don't okay. get you sprayed. And now you're, whoop. Oh. Okay. 
It's a high pressure, you know what I'll do? High pressure gun. This is go. another good Smart. thing. I have them. Use gloves to keep it all kind of smushed into place. I think that was a third. Maybe. Oh, Mark. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, Orly, get your graffiti on. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Like tagging a jacket. It really is. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> broke a heart. Can you oh do it with God. like any color or does it have to be glitter? Any color. Yeah. I just thought that this is really cool with glitter because it's kind of hard to tell what it is once it's done. Yeah. You know, like spray paint, you're like, okay, that's paint. But there's something about the glitter that creates a really cool effect that you kind of or like, how is that created? Kind of Can I just too. Yeah. Can I just say it never has to be glitter ever? Oh, Mark has a hard time with saying. glitter. He always ends up with glitter all over he him. He really does. I, I, I go home. I'm okay. like, how did that get there? Now, contrary to what you might think, you want to peel it off when it's still sort of wet. Mm. Okay. I know. Really? It doesn't feel like the right thing to do. But it is. But it is. Oh. <gasps> You're a hey. wizard, Orly. Hey. Look at you go to. So easy. Wow. wow. Wait, I'll hold that sucker up. Oh. Look at that. What? What? Oh yep. Yep. Or the Versace. Really okay. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And how much is this one going to cost? Because the other one's five hundred dollars. The other one's five hundred. This is the can of spray paint, and you can make however many. Well, plus forty three cents. Plus, plus forty three cents. cents from King. So Kings. it's about yeah. It's going to be about. Do I have a piece of paper on there? Yeah. It's going to be about you know six dollars. What about and cleaning it? So this is something I would dry clean. However, you can heat set it. You know, almost any time we use spray paint, not only fabric paint, but spray paint, you're going to want to put a cloth, heat set it with your iron. Don't smush the iron. Just heat set 15 seconds, move mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to be a little bit more protected, but I would still probably dry clean just to be safe. Okay. You always have such great ideas, Orly. Mm -hmm. This is so fun. You can do any image you want. That's the best part.